still come to pass When any prophet's out of father and mother that be got you shall say You die because you believe lies I tell you what you're about to say Neither the reverend never garment to deceive But the earth should be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea In that day you shall say I'm no prophet, I'm another man Well tell me what are these wounds in my hands I was wounded at the house of my friends He shall call me Isha, he shall call me no more bear lie For the husband which is our Lord that make every demon shall be glorified Come all ye that thirst, drink with our money of Christ For the Lord shall go forth from Jerusalem and the word of the Lord from Zion The spirit of the Lord God is upon me He shall fill the oasis Coming down from God out of heaven Prepared as about a dawn for a husband What a beautiful city That's where the righteous go be And there came an angel and talked with me And the spirit he carried me And showed me that great city The holy Jerusalem The place where Christ gon' move from It had a wall High and great and had twelve gates And at the twelve gates Twelve angels and names Were in the home without the twelve tribes Of the children of Israel And the wall of the city Had twelve foundations and in them, the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, the foundations of the wall, and precious stones, even topaz. And the city was big old, like a jewel glass. Lest that day that do us commandments, that they may have a right to the tree of life and enter in through the gates and to the city. Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He shall build the oasis. He shall repair the waste cities to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Turn to face Jerusalem, and we go to the clan. Our Father, which are in heaven. Our Father, which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. And forgive us our debts. Forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. Glory forever. forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he is good. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. And his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord God of Israel. Praise the Lord God of Israel. For he is good. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. And his mercy endures forever. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One. King of kings, King of kings, and Lord of lords, and Lord of lords, the one true God, the one true God, and there is no other. And there is no other. Amen. 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 And my uh, opening scripture will be coming from Proverbs, the 16th chapter, verses one through seven, and it reads: The preparations of the heart in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of the man are seen in his own eyes. Keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And so that's why I'm so glad and so thankful that I'm keeping the commandments. We get to work all week and uh you know rest on this seventh day. Uh because it points to points to something that's a shadow of things to come in the future. Something that I'm looking forward to. You know, uh something we all looking forward to actually. Uh, today's title of the class is Jesus, that rock from the beginning. And this is another class that, you know, history to some people. But we in this room, we understand what this is about. We, we understand that Jesus was here in the beginning. Um, 
And like I said, it's a mystery to a lot of people. I was dealing with a sister earlier this week, and uh, she was saying she only did with the, the old test, uh, the first five. Was saying Torah only, Torah only, and she kept in no testament at all. She just came in the Bible period, and I and I told her something. I said, "Well, you know, we give you the whole Bible, Jesus, and and all over the Old Testament, and in the New Testament." So you know, uh, just something we we have to keep in mind. We cannot do away with any of the Bible itself. We just have to read the whole thing. Um, and again, hey, when I was coming up, I always thought that, you know, the, the father thought that, you know, we was dealing with the father only. I mean, I was, you know, the church, church, uh, it was, I was about, I don't know, 28, 29 years old to, I just completely stopped going to church and, and just kind of was just doing my own thing. And then 10 years later, here I go back at it, uh started seeking the Lord and, and, you know, getting some understanding. <clears throat> um, but we, uh, but one thing you can see is once you start getting some Bible understanding, you'll see that it's actually not the father that's dealing with man through this Bible. It's Jesus the whole time. <clears throat> I just want to open up with a scripture, uh, that, some some may may read and may think it's talking about and, and may think it's the father. Let's uh let's go to Isaiah chapter forty six. Isaiah chapter forty six <clears throat> and verse nine. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Remember the former things of old. Uh huh. For I am God, uh -huh. and there is none else. That's right. I am God, and there is none like me. Ten. Declaring the end from the beginning uh -huh. and from ancient times. That's right. The things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So, immediately, once you read something like this, it says, in Isaiah 46 and 9 says, Remember the form of things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning. And that's what God does. He gives you the whole story in the Old Testament from the end to the beginning. From, uh, from, oh, I'm sorry, from the, uh, from the end to the beginning, from ancient times, these things are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So, again, we would see the scripture and we would automatically think the person who's talking, we obviously know it's not Isaiah because Isaiah is not God. It's just that I am God. So, someone is doing the talking. And so what I'm going to do is, is, is today we're just going to break down Old Testament scriptures and see who is actually doing the talking and who's dealing with man. Let's go to Isaiah 48. It's one of my favorite verse uh, uh, chapters. Isaiah chapter 48. And uh, we're going to start verse 1. Now this is the Lord dealing with Israel. Go ahead. Hear ye this, mm -hmm. O house of Jacob, mm -hmm. which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. That's right, because they was dealing with and false worship and, and just false teaching and stuff like that. But go ahead. For they call themselves of the holy city uh -huh. and state themselves upon the God of Israel. That's right, go ahead. The Lord of hosts is his name. Uh-huh, he what? I have declared the former things from the beginning. Now, this is the one that's talking. He's, he declared the former things from the beginning, just like we read in, in uh, chapter 46. But go ahead. And they went forth out of my mouth, uh -huh. and I shewed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. That's right. So he said, whoever's doing the talking is saying, look, I declared the things from the beginning. Came to pass. Now, this is God talking. This is Isaiah talking of Isaiah. But go ahead, my brother. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, uh -huh. that, and thy neck is an iron sinew, uh -huh. and thou brow brass. That's right. Was, yeah, because Israel says, because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is is an iron shoe, and thy brow brass. No, no difference. And he knows we hard-headed, and he know we don't like to listen. Go ahead. That, that's why he had to show us the end from the beginning. And it came to pass. 
Now go ahead, my brother. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Uh huh. Before it came to pass, I shewed it thee. Uh huh. Lest thou shouldest say, mine idol hath done right, that. Right, because they was dealing with. That's why the Lord, he said, he said, I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. I showed you from the beginning. That's what he's saying. He says, before it came to pass, I showed it to thee, lest thou shouldest say, mine idol has done it. So he said, look, I'm, I showed you things before, before I knew you was going to start dealing with idolatry. So that's why things, you can say, your false God, your idol had done it. I'm the Lord God. Saying, but go ahead, my brother. And my graven image, uh -huh. and my molten image, that's right. I commanded them. That's right. Go ahead. Thou hast heard. See all this, mm -hmm. and would not you declare it? Mm -hmm. I have shewed thee new things from this time. That's right. Even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. That's right. The Lord, you know, test me now. Go ahead. They are created now, uh -huh. and not from the beginning. That's right. Even before the day when thou heardest them not. That's right. Lest thou should have say, behold, I knew them. That's right. So he just let it look. I showed you things from, from I showed you the, the, the end from the beginning. I'm showing you things just so your father has did all these things. Again, but go ahead. Yeah, thou heardest not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thou knewest not. Uh -huh. Yeah, from that time that thine ear was not opened. Uh -huh. For I knew that thou wouldest deal tre very treacherously and was called a transgressor from the womb. And we we still doing this to today. We did actually. We gonna be in church tomorrow. And hey, look, that's dealing with the Lord treachery because he didn't take. He told you to holy. But go ahead. For my name's sake will I defer mine anger, uh -huh. and for my praise will I refrain for thee. So when we, you know, so when we transgress against the Lord or deal with, we see that the Lord. But go ahead. Thy, that I cut thee not off. Uh -huh. Behold, I have refined thee, uh -huh. but not with silver. That's right. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Because he brought Israel out of Egypt in, right when they was being afflicted. He chose Israel. That's why he said, I have not dealt with, 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 with what did he say? Uh, uh, you are the only family I've ever known. But go ahead. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. Mm -hmm. For now should my name be polluted, uh -huh. and I would not give my glory to another. Go ahead. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, uh -huh. my called. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. He's the first and the last. No, no, this is the, remember, this is God talking. Go ahead. My hand also has laid the foundation of the earth. So now we... He says, my, my hand also has laid the foundation of the earth. And what else? And my right hand has spanned the heavens. Uh -huh. When I call unto them, they stand up together. So everything answers to me. This is the Lord, the, the creator speaking. Some might say, go ahead. All ye, assemble yourselves mm -hmm. and hear. Which among them have declared these things? Uh -huh. The Lord hath loved him. He would do his pleasure on Babylon. Uh -huh. And his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. Go ahead. I, even I, have spoken. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have called him, I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Now, I just read all scripture right here. 16, go ahead, my brother. Come ye near unto me. Uh -huh. Hear ye this. That's right. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. So, look, he's, I haven't been spoken in secret from the beginning. I told you from the beginning. It ain't no secret. Go ahead. For the time that it was, uh -huh. there am I. Uh -huh. And now the Lord God and his spirit Did what? has sent me. So, the person doing the talking right now and the person that said my, my has, laid the, has has laid the foundation of the earth is the one that was sent now where was he sent to let's let's do some research and see who is the one that's doing the talking in Isaiah because no it's not Isaiah let's see who was sent let's go to, uh, to, uh, to the New Testament John chapter 17 my brother John chapter 17. So we see the one that did all this talking in Isaiah 48 and in 46 all throughout this Old Testament is the one that was in. John 17 
And we're going to pick it up at verse 1. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. These words spake Jesus uh -huh. and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Uh -huh. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Okay, now this is Jesus talking, but go ahead. And thou hast given him power over all flesh, uh -huh. that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Uh -huh. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, uh -huh. the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Jesus Christ was the one who was sent. Also, Jesus doing the talking in Isaiah chapter 48, because he was here from the beginning. Always here. It says, uh... <clears throat> I'm going to read verse uh, uh, three again. It says, and this, is, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ who has sent. So we see that Jesus was the one that was sent. The same one that was doing the talking in Isaiah chapter 48. But go ahead, keep reading, my brother. I have glorified thee uh -huh. on the earth. That's right. I have finished the work which thou has given me to do. Right, he said, I've glorified thee on earth. I've finished the work which thou has given me to do. And what else? And now, O Father, uh -huh. glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Oh, before the world was. We're seeing, we seeing Jesus is saying, I have glorified thee on earth. I finished the work which thou also gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory with thee before the world was. So we see that Jesus was here before the world was. And you understand that? So in order to, to be able to have his glory, he had to be here. He, said he was here before the world was. So we see that Jesus was here always here in the beginning. Right? So let's go to uh, John 5. Let's go to chapter 5. I'm sorry. Go ahead and read down the seven. My bad. We're, we're... I have manifested thy name mm -hmm. unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Oh, that's right. Go ahead. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, mm -hmm. and they have kept thy word. Mm -hmm. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so let's, uh, let's go over to John chapter 5. Just regular John chapter five. We are going to see uh, how he manifested his name because it says, uh, "Let me let me go back to uh, seventeen real quick." It says, uh, "John seventeen and verse six. This is the Lord talking to the Father. He said, I have manifested thy name unto men.' So, what name did he manifest unto men? It says, which thou hast given out of the world, and thine." Uh, 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 thine they thine they were and thou go and thou gavest them me and and they kept thy word so what name did he manifest let's go to uh john chapter five let's see let's see what he what, what name he manifested john chapter five verse one and we're going to uh bring it down to verse 38 this is jesus talking to the pharisees Go ahead, my brother. And ye have not his word abiding in you, uh -huh. for whom he has sent, him uh -huh. he believe not. Again, we see who was sent, though, but go ahead. Search the scriptures. Oh, search the scriptures. Why? For in, thee, in, in, for in them you think you have eternal life. Uh-huh. And they are and they are they which testify of me. Right, so it's scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are to testify of me. Scriptures are talking about searching the because they are the whole Old Testament about Jesus. And at, and at that point in time, there, there was no John chapter 5. But keep reading, my brother. And you will not come to me mm -hmm. that you might have life. Uh -huh. I receive not honor, honor from men. Uh -huh. But I know you that you have not the love of God in you. Go ahead. I am come in my Father's name. He said, I am come in my Father's name. Go ahead. And you receive me not. And See me not. Go ahead. If another shall come in his own name, uh -huh. him ye will receive. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So he says, I have come in my father's name and ye receive me not because he was, he was the Messiah. 
I'm coming in my father's name and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, ye will receive. But let's see what name that was he came in. Let's see what his name is. Exodus chapter 6. Let's see Exodus chapter 6. Let's see who was doing the talking to Moses. Exodus chapter 6. And when you get it, my brother, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Then the Lord said unto Moses, uh -huh. Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh. Okay, so this is the... Um, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. For go ahead. with a strong hand shall he let them go, mm -hmm. and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. Right. So this is, you know, the Lord talking to Moses about uh, Pharaoh letting the children of Egypt go. But go ahead. And God spake unto Moses mm -hmm. and said unto him, mm -hmm. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. So this is speaking to Moses. Now remember, this is God talking. But go ahead. I and I appeared unto Abraham, uh -huh. unto Isaac, uh -huh. and unto Jacob, by who? By the name of God Almighty. But by what? But by my name, Jehovah, uh -huh. was I not known to them. He says, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, I was not known unto them. So we can see right now the one that's doing the talk, saying that his name is Jehovah. But in John 5 and 43, he said he came in his father's name. So when you put this together, you understand the father's name is Jesus. And the son's name is Jehovah. But he came in his father's name. Just like for answer, okay, for example, you got Brother Vince right here, right? My name is Julius and his, and his brother Vince. If, 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 if he was my father and, and I was using his name, I stepped into a room and said, hey, I'm, I'm Vince. But, I, but, but really, my name is Julius. Everyone is going to know me as my name is Vince. Because that's just what it would does. Because it says, by my name, I was not known unto them. My name was kept secret. I had my own name. But I'm coming in his name, the name of Vince. And that's what Jesus did. He came in his father's name. So we see that Jesus, the, which is the son that we know it, he has his own name as Jehovah. Now let's go back to John 17 because he said he was here before the world was. Let's look at it. Uh, John 17, verse 5. Let's read that verse one more time. John chapter 17 and verse 5. The Jesus talking. Because he said he was here before. He said he asked the Father to give him his glory back before the world was. So we must be able to be able to read it. But go ahead, my brother. When you get it, go ahead and read it. And now, O oh Father, uh -huh. glorify thou me with thine own self, uh -huh. with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now let's see where we can find somewhere where, because this is Jesus talking in the red, right? Let's see where we can find somewhere where he was here before the world was. Let's go to chapter 1. John chapter 1. And verse one, and we, my brother, go ahead and read. In the beginning was the word. The word. Go ahead. As, hey, listen. There's only, and that's in uh, Genesis also. But go ahead. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was with God. So that's two now. So in the beginning, was the word was one, and the word was with God. That now it's two. Go ahead. And the word was God, and the word was God. So now this, this, now this word is all of God, but go ahead. The same was in the beginning with God. Now we see the same word was in the beginning with God. Go ahead. All things were made by him. All Who? The word. All things were made by the word, but go ahead. And without him was not anything made that was made. And without him, not anything made that was made. So, so we see that this one that was with God is the word that made everything. Now let's see who this word is. Let's go to um, Revelation chapter 19. And we're going to go back to John 1 though. But let's just go just to verify this, uh, who this word is. Let's get a uh, name on this, on this word. Let's see if we can find one. Revelation chapter 19. Because he called it in from the beginning, right? 
Revelation chapter 19, we're going to bring it down to uh, verse 11. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. Now, this is John getting the revelation, right? John the Revelator is talking. But go, but go ahead. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. So he's talking about Jesus now. But go, but go ahead. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Oh, doth judge and make war. with Jesus making war? But go ahead. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And on his head were many crowns. Many crowns, many kingdoms. He was His eyes were as as the flame of fire upset and on his head were many crowns. Those are kings, nations. Go ahead. And he had name, a name written mm -hmm. that no man knew Go. but he himself. Go ahead. He was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. The Word of God. So, but, but, but keep reading. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Mm -hmm. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fiercest and wrath of Almighty God. And he had a he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So King of Kings, Lord of Lords. So this word that we're talking about in John 1, it's just, he said, it, it says, uh, and he was dipped in the vesture. I'm sorry, he, he and his clothes, clothes, with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name called the Word of God. But the same one is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we see that that this word in John chapter one is also the Lord. But let's keep reading. Let's go to uh, John one. John one. Yeah, back yeah back to John one, and we're gonna bring it down to verse fourteen. Cause we're still talking about this person who is the word john chapter 1 and verse 14 when you get it my brother go ahead and read and the word was made flesh and the word was made flesh so which that was who was made flesh go ahead and dwelt among us and dwelt among us he lived now so this word this person that's the word was made flesh and he dwelt among us he lived on earth talking about it got to be talking about jesus go ahead and we and we beheld his glory, uh -huh. the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, uh -huh. full of grace and truth. Right now, uh, jump up to verse ten. He was in the world, uh -huh. and the world was made by him, mm -hmm. and the world knew him not. So this word who made the world, right? We see that Jesus is the Creator. That's why the title is Jesus that rocked from the beginning. He was always here. Well, let's go to First Timothy. Let's uh, you know, let's get a witness to that. First Timothy, chapter three. First Timothy, chapter three. Let me get there. Uh, First Timothy chapter three, we're gonna break it down to sixteen. And when you get that, brother, uh, go ahead and read it. And without controversy, uh -huh. great is the mystery of godliness. What's the mystery? Go ahead. God was manifest in the flesh. Oh, then we just see that in the word was made flesh. Mm -hmm. So this God was man manifested in the flesh. Go ahead. Justified in the spirit. And what else? Seen of angels. Oh, uh huh. Preached unto the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Believed on in the world. And did what? Received up into glory. So he went back. He came down here to live. He was made flesh. It says, and without great controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up unto glory. So we see that this word, he lived on earth. He was preaching and he went back to the right hand of the father. That's what received up in glory means. Let's go to... Uh, Back to John, John 1. Back to John 1. So we're seeing that, that, that this word was, was Jesus that was here in the beginning. Uh, John 1 and uh, verse, cause, uh, verse, 3 and, uh, verse 3 and verse 10 said he was in the world, right? It says all things 
I'm sorry. John, John 1 and verse 3, it says, uh, he made the world, right? It says, uh, read verse 3 again, bro. All things were made by him, uh -huh. and without him was not anything made that was made. Okay, so we, so we see that he made the world. I must have got mixed up here. So. so, all right. So we see, uh, okay, let's bring it down to verse 6, my bad, bro. There was a man sent from God uh -huh. whose name was John. That's right. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light uh -huh. that all men through him might believe. Uh -huh, go ahead. He was not that light, uh -huh. but was sent to bear witness of that light. Uh -huh. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Uh -huh. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Uh, all right. So it says, uh, <clears throat> And okay, verse six, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came from, uh, uh, the same came for a witness to bear witness of that light that all men through him might believe. So John came to witness of Jesus, right? It says, but uh, verse eight, he was not that light. So John was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. So he was sent to bear witness of Jesus. It says, uh, verse nine says that was that true light was light as every man that cometh into the world he was in the world and the world was made by him so the so the light made the world that's that was the whole reason why i came okay uh so john so john was just showing you again that the one that was here in the beginning was the creator who made the world it says he came into his own and, and his own received him not go to verse 12 my brother but as many as received him to them gave you power uh -huh. to become the sons of God, uh -huh. even to them that believe on his name. There you go. So, the, okay, so the point is, we're just showing, I'm just showing you this, the son that created the world. And John is verifying that. Let's go to uh, Genesis chapter one. Back to the beginning. Genesis chapter one. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, if we, you know, just read this one scripture right here. It looks like it's just one. But let's understand this word God, which means more than one. And we see that down in verse 26. Jump down to verse 26, my brother. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have the men over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Right. So, and so okay. So in verse 26, it says, and God said, let us make man in our image and after our own and after our likeness. So who is us so we so what you have is the conversation between the father and the son right uh, so, uh, okay so let's go look at uh hebrew uh hebrews uh chapter one <clears throat> hebrews chapter one yeah so we see a us when in, in the word god so it was so that that let us know that was two. God couldn't God couldn't have been talking to himself. Hebrews chapter one. Let me Hebrews chapter one, and when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. God, uh, verse one, <laughs> who at sundry times mm -hmm. and in divers matters uh -huh. spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Okay, it says God, who in sundry times and diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Go ahead. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, uh -huh. whom he hath appointed heir of all things. And did what? By whom also he had made the world. So we see God's son, the one who made the worlds. Let's read it again hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, who he hath appointed all things. So 
God was appointed everything. It says, by whom also he made the world. Jesus made the world. That was that God that was in the beginning. He created the heavens. Go ahead, my brother. Who being the brightness of his glory uh -huh. and the express image of his person uh -huh. and upholded all things by the word of his power. That's right. When he had made by himself purge our sins, uh -huh. sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So the one says the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he by whom himself purged our sins. So the person that made the world was he died for our sins. That's what it's saying. It says, uh, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. So after he purged our sins, he died. He went back and sat down on the right hand of the Father. Let's go look at it. Matthew chapter 22. So we see again that it was that made the world he was here in the beginning it was not the father I was just talking to a brother on the way here about to teach, teach his class he was telling me it was the father going back and forth it was the father I could I was driving so I couldn't really hit the scriptures like I wanted to but I hope he you know you know maybe he can get a chance to uh, tune in to the class but but hey, you know, the Bible says what it says. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 41. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. And that is Jesus. Go ahead. While the Pharisees were gathered together, mm -hmm. Jesus asked them, uh -huh. saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They said unto him, The son of David. Go ahead. He said unto them, how then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, uh -huh. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Go ahead. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? You see that? So, mess with him a little bit. He here from the beginning to even understand what he just said to him. You got to understand that he was here from the beginning. He says, uh, it says, uh, while the Pharisees were gathered together, asked, asked, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? And they said unto him, The son of David. He said unto them, How then does David in spirit call him Lord, saying? So how is David calling him Lord? It says, uh, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit down on thy right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. If, the, if David then called him Lord, then whose son is he? So he, you know, so he was messing with him a little bit, trying to let them know. Look, I'm the one who they were calling Lord. They didn't understand that because they didn't understand that he was a Messiah anyway. They was talking to the Messiah. It says, uh, then David. I said, so then, uh, that if David then called him Lord, how is he his son, right? And read forty six. And no man was able to answer him a word because they didn't understand. Neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. <laughs> hey, I ain't mess with this man no more. Let's go see what Jesus got that from, though. Let's go to Psalms chapter 110. Psalms chapter 110. Because Jesus was quoting David. That's why you say, hey, how could David say, Lord? <laughs> Psalm chapter 110, and when you get it, my brother, this Jesus was quoting. Go ahead, my brother. The, the Lord said unto my Lord, uh -huh. sit thou at my right hand uh -huh. until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And so we we saw that in Hebrew. He, 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 uh, he sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. The did. So it says, it says, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down at thy right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Other word, in other words, sit down on my right hand until I until you make your enemies your footstool. But keep reading, my bro. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Uh -huh. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Go ahead. Thy so, so, so this one 
in the right hand is rule. I just want I just want to show that that's this is Jesus. But go ahead, but keep reading. We might work well here. Go ahead. That people shall be willing in the day of thy power uh -huh. and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast thy do of the do of thy youth. Go ahead. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. We're still talking about this one that's sitting at the right hand of the Father, though. Said the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou what? Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. That's right. We go, go, go ahead. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the days of his So time. the one he's going to take down some kings. Go ahead. He shall judge among the heathen. Uh -huh. he he's going to be a fill, judge. Go ahead. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. Now there's still the one at the right hand. Go ahead. He shall wound the heads over many countries. Uh -huh. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. Other than Jesus, the one who created the world is going to come back and take over this world. Let's, let's go to uh, Isaiah 60, Let's see who's doing the talking over there. Isaiah 60, 61. Is that on here? That ain't on here? Yeah, I'm going to read that. Uh, yeah, 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 we go ahead and read that. I got a question. It's, it's, it's going to come take down the world. We're going to see that Jesus was here in the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66 and 1. I'm going to show you something. Because we saw that, it, uh, like I said, in John and in Hebrews, that the Lord was that the Son of God. But go ahead. The, thus said the Lord, uh -huh. the heaven is my throne, uh -huh. and the earth is my footstool. Return. The one that and, mm -hmm. and this is the one. So we put that together. The, the, see, the Bible going. Yeah, I'm about to run that back again, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's run that back. Let me go back to Psalms 110. Psalms 110. We're gonna run it down and we're gonna bring it real slow. Psalms 110. The brother wanted me to bring that back, so we're gonna bring it back. Psalm chapter 110. Let me show you something. <clears throat> Psalm chapter, uh, let, me, well, let me get that real quick. Let me put something. Oh, I, got, I got a bookmark right here. Psalm chapter 110. And one, go ahead, my brother. The Lord said unto my Lord, uh -huh. Sit thou at my right hand uh -huh. until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Again, so you got the Lord it says, The Lord said unto my Lord. So we got two that's called Lord. The, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit down at thy right hand until until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So, the, so you got, so in other words, the Father said to the Son, Come here, son. Sit down at my right hand until you make thy enemy thy footstool. Go ahead. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Uh huh. Go ahead. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemy. So the Lord shall send thy strength. I'm sorry. So the Lord shall send thy send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. We talking about Jerusalem, the rule in the midst of thine enemies. So the Lord is saying this. It's going. He's going to rule enemies and he's gonna rule out of Jerusalem but go ahead thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power uh -huh. and the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning uh -huh. thou hast thy the dew of thy youth go ahead the Lord has sworn and will not repent uh -huh. thou art a priest forever so who was that priest that's Jesus after what after the order of Melchizedek okay that's right go ahead the Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath the Lord at thy right hand so so the one that's sitting at the right hand is going to come back and he's going to strike kings in the day of his wrath. So when he come back, he's going to do some killing. Now, we're talking about the creator too now. The one who created the world went back and sat at the right hand of the Father, the majesty of the Most High. And it's the same one that's going to come back and strike through kings. But go ahead. He shall judge among the heathen. And he's going to be a judge among the nations. Go ahead. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. And he's going to do something. He's going to fill the places up with dead bodies. 
Whoever heard that about the Lord? Go ahead. You shall wound the heads over many countries. He gonna give them boys headaches. Go ahead. You shall drink of the brook in the way. Uh -huh. Therefore shall he lift up the head. And the Lord is, and, and, and listen, this is the one at the right hand. Now let's go over to Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. And let's see who is doing the talking. <clears throat> this is the Lord talking. The son talking the whole time in the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 1. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. the heaven is my throne, uh -huh. and the earth is my footstool. Then you see the, the, uh, the one at that right hand was going to come back and make the earth his footstool. Mm -hmm. That's the son. Go ahead. Where is the house that you build it to me? Mm -hmm. And where is the place of my rest? So I'm just showing you that that's the son that's the talking. That sitting, sitting at the right hand of the majesty is the one that's gonna come back. I'm sorry, the one that's in the world, he's gonna come back and take over this world. See, a lot of brothers have a problem with you know the name Jesus. See, it's not the name that's the problem, it's being taught in the name is the problem. That's the problem. A lot of people they teaching false teaches the name of Jesus. That's no, we we just dealing with the Jesus of the Bible. John five and thirty-seven. So they say nobody had ever seen the Father. Did Jesus tell you that. So if nobody seen the Father, then who was they dealing with? Let's look at it. John chapter five. Uh oh. And verse 37. Now this is Jesus talking. John 5 and 37. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. And the Father Himself, which has sent me, uh -huh. hath borne witness of me. Again, we see that Jesus was the one that was being sent, right? And the Father bore witness of him. Go ahead. Ye have neither heard his voice uh -huh. at any time, uh -huh. nor seen his shape. So Jesus is telling you, ain't nobody never seen the Father at no time. Ain't nobody never heard his voice. Nobody ever seen the father's shape so who was moses dealing with when he was being talked to the burning bush and in the red sea and who moses was dealing with on the oh you know on a first name basis let's go back to exodus chapter 24 and let's look at it because the brother was trying to tell me that that was the father dealing with moses the whole time but man i mean me and his brother talked for 20 minutes about that Exodus chapter 24. Let's see who was dealing with Moses and who Moses saw and ate and, and sat there and drank with and was chilling with. Exodus chapter 24 uh, <clears throat> and verse 1. And when you get it, and he said it to Moses, uh -huh. Come up unto the Lord, um, come up to the Lord, thou and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, and 70 of the elders. Okay. The Lord is giving Moses. It says, and he said to the Lord, thou Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, 70 of the elders from a fall. Look, Moses, come on up here. You, and I want you to fall. Now, we're dealing with the Lord now. His brother was trying to tell you to fall. Anyway, and, and so we just saw Jesus. Ain't nobody ever seen the Father. So who is it? That that one that was back there in the beginning, dealing with none other than Jesus. But let's let's prove it. Um, <clears throat> well, shoot, let's let's go ahead and read verse two, my bro. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, uh -huh. but they shall not come nigh. So we got seventy four people that's finna go see the Lord and worship the Lord. It says, and Moses shall come along near the Lord. Say, Moses, I want you to come near me, but then the rest of them got to worship me from far. It says, but, 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 but they shall not come now. Neither shall the people come up with him. So he wanted Moses to come up a little closer along. Verse three, go ahead. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord uh -huh. and all the judgments and all the people answered with one voice and uh -huh. said, all the words which the Lord has said, we will do. Go ahead. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and built an altar under the hill and 12 pillars according to the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh -huh, go ahead. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which had, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins 
and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. Mm-hmm, go ahead. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the altars of the people, and they said, all that the Lord has said, we will do. So they worship in the Lord, but go ahead. And be obedient. But uh, uh, Go ahead. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Oh, so they took the covenant. Go ahead. Then went up Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, uh-huh. and 70 of the elders of Israel. And what they see? And they saw the God of Israel. So now- So, who did they see? Go ahead. And there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone, uh-huh. mm-hmm. and as it were the body of heaven in its clearness. It says, and they saw the God of Israel, though. So, go ahead. And it's, upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he uh-huh. laid not his hand. Uh-huh. Also, they saw God and did eat and drink. So, they saw God and they ate and drink, but Jesus, nobody never seen God. So, so either the Bible is contradicting itself, Somebody lying. And you know Jesus ain't lying. Right. Because they was dealing with Jesus anyway the whole time. They was never dealing with the Father. But let's uh let's let's see here. Let's go to uh let's see, let's go to first Colossians. Uh I'm so I'm sorry. <laughs> regular regular Colossians. Colossians chapter one. I'm my I'm dealing with the morning here. <laughs> Colossians chapter one. Let's go back to the New Testament. Chapter one. Uh, let's see here, and we're gonna uh, bring it down to uh, the verse thirteen and verse thirteen. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness uh-huh. and had translated us into the kingdom. Actually, of bring it bring to 12. I'll just give it a right. bit, yeah. Giving thanks unto the Father, uh-huh. which hath made us to, meet, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Go ahead. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness uh-huh. and had translated unto, us into the kingdom of his dear son. Okay, all it says, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom so now we're talking about Jesus, right? Because mm. be, because Jesus is the Son of the Father, right? Mm. But go ahead. In whom we have redemption through His blood, huh? even the forgiveness of sins. Jesus is the one who died for our sins, right? Mm. Everybody know that, right? Everybody, anybody that tell you that Jesus died for your sins, whom in whom we have redemption through His blood, through the blood of Jesus, mm. even through forgiveness of sins. Go ahead. Who is the image of the invisible God? So Jesus is this image of the invisible the firstborn of every creature firstborn of every creature he was the first begotten of the dead he was the first dead that's why but go ahead for by him were all things created jesus was all things created because we talking we still talking about by him all three things were created that are in heaven uh-huh and that are in earth so he that was in heaven and in earth. Go ahead. Visible and invisible. You can see in things you cannot see. Jesus made everything. Whether they be thrones uh-huh. or dominions. That's right. Or principalities uh-huh. or powers. That's evilness. Go ahead. All things were created by him and for him. And what else? And he is before all things. So he was there in the beginning. Go ahead. And by him all things consist. And we're talking about Jesus the Son of God. Come on, they can't get this clear. Right, right, right. That crystal clear. Jesus, he was there in the beginning. Let me let me read that again, man. <laughs> let's let's cause, uh, okay. if somebody don't see this, it's because they don't want to see this. Mm-hmm. You understand the laws and how to read it put this together in this nice little paragraph. You should be able to understand this if you went to school. Mm-hmm. Let, let's bring it up to 13. 12, one more time. Break it down for the people, okay? Giving thanks unto the Father, uh-huh. which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. That's right, go ahead. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness uh-huh. and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Okay, that's a colon, that's a colon right there, right? Right. Now we're talking about the son. 
Now, all, all it takes is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Go ahead. In whom ye have redemption. We have redemption through what? Through his blood. Through the blood of Jesus. Don't everybody know that? Jesus, that hey, everybody is a sailor, but I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Even the forgiveness of sin. Uh huh, go ahead. Who is the image of the invisible God? Still talking about Jesus as the image of the invisible God. Go ahead. The firstborn of every creature. He was the one, the one who rose from the dead. That's why he's every creature places you'll see he was the first begotten of the dead but go ahead for by him were all things created still talking about jesus the son right by him were all things created go ahead that are in heaven oh heaven. he created everything that's in heaven go ahead and that are in earth and everything that's here so my jesus still the son go ahead visible and invisible things you can see and cannot see jesus created him go ahead whether they be thrones uh -huh. or dominions, whether they be thrones, whether it be you know, whether it be righteousness, thrones, you know, uh, uh, goodness. But go ahead. Our principalities made the good and the evil. Go ahead. Power. Go ahead. All things were created by Him. And what? And for everything him. was created by Jesus. And for Jesus. Go ahead. And He is before all things. And He was here. In the beginning, go ahead. And by him all things consist. All things consist. That is crystal clear. I mean, that's that's clear than my Zephyr Hills bottle of water, man. That's clear. All right. Now, as a matter of fact, I don't think this is on the handle. Let's deviate for a second. Let's go to Colossians chapter 2. Let me get my other Bible. Bible, somebody got my small Bible? Oh, see, yeah, yeah. Let's deviate for a second. Because we see that now. We just, this was Jesus. That was Jesus that created the world. And by him, all things consist. Everything was made for him and by him. That's right. Let's go to Colossians. Uh, chapter 2, man. Let's, let's just flip a, uh, flip a page real quick. I want to show you something. Uh, I don't know. I just I don't even know why I want to go here, but I just want to do it anyway. I don't think this really. But anyway, hey, how about this? Let's just go to um, uh, Colossians chapter 2. And verse 11. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. In whom also ye are circumcised uh -huh. with the circumcision made without hands, uh -huh. and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Okay, so, so now we're talking about Christ. I just want to, I just want to, you know, uh, let the Bible kind of, uh, what, say, uh, what's the word? Uh, Self. Go ahead. Buried with him in baptism, uh -huh. wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, uh -huh. who hath raised him from the dead. So then we just read in Colossians one that he was he was the first one from the dead. Go ahead. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwritings of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us. And took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Uh -huh, go ahead. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Well, because he beat death. It says, uh, bear baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the face of the operation of God, who raised him from the dead. So I guess this was baptism, but. When you get baptized, right, you you, you know you go down an old man, and you come up new man. So you bury that old man through the, through the faith and operation of God, who has raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins because right what the mm -hmm. 
So it says, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, which made alive, having forgiven all your trespasses, out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. So when Christ died, uh, he he blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, and that's not talking about the commandments either. Okay, this is talking about uh, the handwriting of ordinances that was chapter uh, twenty-seven and uh, well, I think uh, around fifteen to twenty-six, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one. Man, that right? So you know, the so the Lord is. is, is he nailed that to the cross as a uh, blind out hand writers ordinance that was against us that was contrary to us the way nailing to his cross go ahead and having spoiled principalities mm -hmm. and power uh -huh. he made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it uh -huh. go ahead let no man therefore judge you in me so don't let nobody judge you because you keep the dietary law go ahead or in drink uh-huh or in respect of an holy day so don't nobody judge you because you uh we about to keep uh, in a couple of weeks, don't let nobody judge you for that. Go ahead. Or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days. Uh -huh, go ahead. Why? Are a shadow of things to come. Uh huh. But the body is of Christ. And that's why we doing this because it's a shadow of things to come. I just wanted to. Some got on me to to to, to do that. I don't know. Maybe somebody need to hear that. I don't know. But anyway, Ephesians three. <laughs> Ephesians chapter three. Oh. Before we go there, because I, I, I okay, you know what? I, this is the reason why I did that. All right, so in it says blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us. Let's go to Isaiah real quick, back to the Old Testament, and see who's doing that talking. Because they think it's the Father, but we read here that was Jesus, though. See, we see that was Jesus, the one who died and was rose, and we buried with him in baptisms, right? So let's see who was talking about. Got in the Old Testament, as uh, there's uh, Isaiah uh, 40 43, Isaiah 43 and 25. Just one verse, my brother. I ain't gonna even go, I'm gonna go to Ephesians, Isaiah 43 and 25. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgression. Uh huh. See, now, now that's now. So, who's the one that was blotting out the tran the handwriting of the ordinance that was against us? That was Jesus. So this is Jesus talking in the Old Testament, saying he blotted out the trans transgression. Not the Father. The Father didn't come down here and die for us. It was Jesus, the one who could blot, blot out those sins. Go ahead. For mine own sake. Uh huh. And will not remember thy sins. That's right. So let's go to uh, jump over to forty four, uh, uh, chapter forty four, and verse twenty two. Say that again. I have blotted out as a thick cloud uh -huh. thy transgression. So who is blotting out uh, again? That's Jesus. Jesus is the one blotting out the transgressions. Because when you because when you get baptized, he's he's the one who forgive you for your pan transgressions. So if how could the father be saying I will blot out the transgressions? The father didn't die for. He sent his son to die for us. So this is Jesus doing the talking in the Old Testament, showing that he was here before the New Testament. He was always here. He told you he uh, from the from speaking secret. He showed you the end from the beginning. That's why. I, that's what I want to go there for. All right. Let me finish reading that. Go ahead, my brother. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, uh -huh. and as a cloud thy sins. Go ahead. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. The point is, this is in the Old Testament, and we see Jesus talking about forgiving the people of past for uh, from their past. The Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Jesus was that rock that was here from the beginning. He always came. Mary as a man to live, you know, the, uh, to live perfectly. Uh, so, so he came here to die for the sins of man, so you can be forgiven. He was always here. Ephesians three. Ephesians chapter 3 uh, and verse 1. Let me get there. 
I'm, I'm starting to feel good now. Go ahead. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 1. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read. For this cause, mm -hmm. I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Okay, now this is Paul, his apostleship. But go ahead, my brother. If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, uh -huh. which is given me to you, Lord, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery. Uh -huh. As I wrote a fort in few words. What mystery? Go ahead. Whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Uh huh. Mystery of Christ. Go ahead. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Uh huh. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That's right. Go ahead. That the Gentiles should be made fellow heirs of the same body. And and that's and this is how you you know it is it, uh, the salvation for all nations. Also, it ain't just for Israel. Everybody. Anybody who want to come in and serve God, uh, because it says that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and the same body and what? And the same and the partakers of His promise in Christ by the gospel. That's right. For all nations, go ahead. Whereof I was made a minister uh -huh. according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of His power. Uh huh. Go ahead. Unto me, whom am less than the least of all saints, uh -huh. is the grace given. That uh -huh. I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. That's right. Go ahead. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, uh -huh. which from the beginning of the world has been in he been hid in What's God, the mystery? What's the who created all things by Jesus Christ? He created by all. Oh my goodness! He who created all things by Jesus Christ. What it says, and to make all men see that the fellowship of the which was from the beginning of the world that had been hid in God. Mm -hmm. This is a mystery to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They don't even know who is the, who, who's the creator. I asked a brother this last night, uh, yesterday evening. I was at the car wash. Get ready for the Sabbath. The brother, uh, uh, you know, brother, I know uh, he be, uh, he know we teach class stuff like that. You know, he asked me what I was teaching on uh, today, and I told him. And, and uh, so I asked him who who was the creator. First thing he said, oh, the father. The father was the creator. I said, nah, brother, nah, brother, it's, it was Jesus. The whole time. Watch this. And to make all men see the fellowship of the mystery, which was from the beginning of the world, have been hid in God, <laughs> who created all things by Jesus Christ. All things were made by Jesus Christ. Everything that is crystal clear in the scriptures, it can't get no clearer than that, man. Oh my goodness! Let's go to Exodus chapter thirteen. Let's see who was with Moses and them boys in Egypt. Exodus chapter thirteen, back to basically almost the beginning. And let's see who was there. Exodus chapter 13, and we're gonna uh, and we're gonna drop down, we're gonna break it down to uh, uh, verse 18. And when you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. But God led the people about uh -huh. through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. Uh-huh. And the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the out of the land of Egypt. Uh so, so Leave Egypt, right? Go ahead. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. Uh huh. For he had straightly sworn the children of Israel, saying, uh -huh. God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And they took their journey from Sukkoth mm -hmm. and encamped in Etham, uh -huh. on the edge of the wilderness. That's right. Go ahead. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, uh -huh. and by night in a pillar of fire uh -huh. to give them light. Hold up. Oh. So it says, and the Lord went before them, the children in Egypt, going to the promise, right? And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, and by night a pillar of fire, and gave them light to go by day and night. So we got the Lord is following them, guiding them. Of a cloud in the daytime and a basically a big flash out at night. So he's the light physically and spiritually the light. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. He 
took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, uh -huh. nor the pillar of fire by night uh -huh. from before the people. So he, so he had looked in Israel and the, the, the whole time guiding them through the wilderness. I don't think Moses, uh, oh yeah, 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 Moses was the opposite, he was there. But anyway, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Let's see who this Lord was though. Because it says, and the Lord went before them by day and, and by night. So who was, which, what Lord was this? Because we saw there was two Lords in Psalms chapter 110, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see which Lord this was. First Corinthians chapter 10. And that's why you have to go from precept must be upon precept. From the law to the testimony. You can't just have the Old Testament and you just can't. You know, have the New Testament. You got to have the whole thing because you're gonna miss the whole story. First Corinthians chapter ten, and uh, bring it down. Uh, bring it down to verse one. When you get it, my brother, go ahead and read it. Moreover, uh -huh. brethren, uh -huh. I would not that you should be ignorant. That's right. How that all our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. They so they talking about his father, which were the children. Says now we now this is basically he just had a kind of this story. That because obviously Paul read Exodus chapter uh, th thirteen <laughs> it says, "Moreover, brethren, I would not have ye that ye should be ignorant how all of our fathers were under the cloud. What cloud was that? That cloud that was being led by the Lord was guiding them, right? We just read in Exodus that the Lord guided them in the cloud, a pillar of cloud by day, right, and the pillar of fire by night. But go ahead, my brother." And we're all baptized to Moses uh -huh. in the cloud uh -huh. and in the sea. Be, okay. That was a bapti baptism of a whole nation. See, it says, uh, and we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Because they took the covenant from God. Remember he sprinkled the blood on them? See what the deal with that covenant? But go ahead. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? Doctrine, go ahead. And did all drink the same that the same spiritual drink? So they all got the same diet. They all understood the word of God, the law of God. Everybody did. Go ahead. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. Uh huh. Go ahead. Who was that? And that rock was Christ. And that rock was Christ. As we see that it was Jesus was the one that was with the children of Israel way back in exodus so he was here from the beginning the whole time that's why the, hey look the, the, jesus was that rock from the beginning somebody got some understanding in jesus name amen <laughs> all right man that's what's up at night uh my brother got the announcement <clears throat> Our prayer is that the eyes of your understanding were enlightened by today's lesson. Mm -hmm. DVDs and CDs of the lesson are available. Please place your order in the offering box along with your donation and pick up your DVD CD up at the podium next Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Please tune into Thy Kingdom Come television program, which airs in various locations. Also join us for question and answer Bible study in about an hour from now and every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time via live stream and our teleconference at 860-970-0010, access code 343-531-334 pound. If you feel you are ready to be baptized, please sign the baptismal list at the podium or speak with Brother Tony or Brother Anthony. On the first Sunday of every month, we broadcast the Bible in plain view. This broadcast gives brothers an opportunity to read and or teach a short 30 minute class. If you are interested in helping, please let us know. The following is the dress code for our services. All clothing should be modest in appearance. Nothing tight-fitting, overly baggy, sagging, or revealing should be worn. Men are to remove hats and all head covering, and women should wear a head covering such as hat or scarf, according to 1 Corinthians 11, verses 7, 1 through 7. If your child becomes noisy during a lesson distracting other members, please remove him or her to the other room next door. Any tithes and our free will offerings should be put in the offering envelope and placed in the offering box near the podium. Pray for our strength as we pray for you until next Sabbath. Peace. Peace. All right. Anything you want to add to the announcements? The uh, feast, the feast coming up, uh, feast of Pentecost. I said on the thirtieth. Then on the, the uh, on the thirty-first. I'm sorry, the thirty-first. 
Uh, so yeah, man, come on out, uh, enjoy the feast and feast before the Lord. That's the commandment. So, uh, if, if nobody have anything, we'll go ahead and close it on out. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Praise the Lord, for he is good. And his mercy endures forever. Praise the Lord God of Israel. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy One of Israel. The King of Kings. And Lord of Lords. The one true God. And there is no other. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. All right.